Hi, I'm Kimberly from SavvyMamaLifestyle.com. I'm a food and travel blogger, but today you're joining me in the kitchen for my first baking vlog where we bake a cake every single month. If you're unfamiliar, Southern Living Magazine, which I love and cherish, they come out with a recipe every single month, a brand new cake recipe to bake throughout the year. Some of them look easy and some of them look challenging, but I thought you could join me in your kitchen and we'll bake these together and see how they turn out. Start a conversation about it. it seems like a fun thing to do. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the January cake of the month, a one bowl chocolate cake. You can't go wrong. Seems easy. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I've got two eight inch round cake pans that are prepped. You're gonna start with your big bowl. You don't need a stand mixer. I have the recipe in front of me and I will link the recipes below to Southern Living Magazine's site where they have all of the links to every single cake of the month. So you add into your large mixing bowl, your all-purpose flour, you've got granulated sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and what's really gonna make the chocolate cake, I think, is these instant espresso coffee granules. That always brings out the chocolate flavor, so I'm curious to see how this, um, how this comes out. Give it a good whisk. There is a lot of competition on the internet when it comes to chocolate cake. Ina Garden has her chocolate cake, Martha Stewart has a version, and competition is fierce when it comes to chocolate cake. So let's see if Southern Living's one bowl chocolate cake can stand up to the rest of them. Give everything a really good whisk, all of your dry ingredients, and then we're gonna make a well. Whenever a recipe says to make a well, oh, it seems like a lot of fun, like a kid project. <laughs> all right, so we made a well in the center of our dry ingredients. Let's check it out. We're gonna scroll down. This is not my recipe, keep in mind it's Southern Living, so I don't have this one memorized. We are doing it together. Next, we are gonna add our wet ingredients. We're gonna add our two eggs. Sour cream goes in the center of the well. I like baking with sour cream. Let me tell you that I don't share with my husband what he eats that has sour cream in it. He likes a lot of baked goods with sour cream in it. He loves a sour cream um, pound cake and he doesn't know that there's sour cream in it. So we'll keep it our little secret. We've got our vegetable oil our buttermilk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, make a well in the center, add it all, and we're going to give it a good whisk for about 30 seconds until combined. So you don't want to over whisk it. There we go. Get those eggs incorporated. You're gonna get in your nice cake batter going. All right. Give it a good whisk, making sure to get all the sides. Maybe use a spatula to scrape down the sides. All right. So this looks good. It looks really rich, really chocolatey. I think that sour cream is gonna add a lot of moisture to this chocolate cake. Let me know if you like baking with sour cream in the comments, if that's something that turns you off from a recipe. Are you planning to make all these Southern Living cakes as well this year? It seems like just kind of a fun thing to do and I'm looking forward to it. A little bit of a challenge for 2024, but a fun one. All right, so I've got everything well incorporated. You've got this rich chocolatey cake batter. I'm gonna give you a good little view of it. And the next thing we are going to add, the last thing is a half cup of hot water. So let me get our hot water going. And the hot water is gonna be the last wet ingredient that we add. All right. Make sure it's nice and hot, sorry about that. All right, here we go, nice hot water. I just added tap water, not too fancy. Southern cake is gonna get some Southern water. All right, there we go. So we're gonna incorporate 
our hot water, making sure I'm following the instructions, following the directions. Once again, not my recipe. So we're making Southern Living's January one bowl chocolate cake. Give it a good whisk making sure all that hot water is incorporated. That kind of thinned out the batter a little bit. There we go. That's beautiful. I don't have any clumps. It's all incorporated. It smells so good. You can kind of smell that instant espresso. And then once it's incorporated, we're gonna divide it among our cake pans and we're gonna bake. Let me check on the baking times for you guys. You're gonna bake until the center of the cake comes out with moist crumbs, about 25 to 30 minutes, 350 degrees, and then we're gonna add the frosting. So I can't wait to see how this turns out. Let's get it into the oven. All right, we are back. My cake has baked, our one bowl chocolate cake. It took me about 28 minutes in my oven. They recommend baking it for 25 to 30 minutes. Let it cool completely on a wire rack. Don't touch it. Forget it's even there because you can't frost a hot cake. So <clears throat> I've seen a couple of different variations. I'm in a Southern Living Facebook group where we all cook the recipes that are in the magazines and people have put their own spin on the frosting. They have a frosting recipe. The link is below in the one bowl chocolate cake. So that's what we're going to make. However, in my opinion, the frosting is harder to make than the cake itself, which is interesting. So I brought <coughs> cream, heavy whipping cream and granulated sugar to a boil. I saved time um, by doing that without the video on because it took a lot of time to wait for it to boil. We're gonna add the unsweetened baking chocolate. Fun story, my toddler saw me chopping up this chocolate, chocolate earlier and wanted some and I gave him some. It's always funny to see their face when they see that it's not sweet chocolate. So you're gonna add your vanilla, your unsweetened baking chocolate, and this is going to melt into that hot cream and granulated sugar mixture that you brought over the boil. And we've got butter. We've got three fourths cup butter and you're gonna let it sit and melt. So you've got all this in a medium size mixing bowl and we're gonna let it melt and incorporate. And you just wanna stir it occasionally. And we're gonna get a nice chocolate mixture, letting that butter melt, letting all of that chocolate just melt away. And this is gonna be the base for our chocolate frosting. All right, so we just made the frosting base. It's got this nice glossy chocolatey texture. The butter and the chocolate melted beautifully with the vanilla. Now here's the tricky part. It's gonna go into an ice bath. So I've got this big bowl of ice water and you're gonna put your bowl in the center. Here's the part where I don't blame you if you just wanna do a traditional powdered sugar frosting because Southern Living, this is a lot for a one bowl chocolate cake. You may give us this really easy cake recipe, but the frosting is tricky. So let's go ahead and get this going. You're gonna need an electric hand mixer. So I've got my electric hand mixer. I've got my towel, just in case anything comes over. All right, so you're gonna hold the two bowls and you make sure that ice bath is letting it cool off. And you're just gonna whip the frosting until it like doubles in size as it cools and the color is going to lighten. So right now it's this really dark gloss, but it's gonna lighten as you whip it. So I'm gonna increase our speed. All right, the last step to our one bowl chocolate cake is to frost it. My cakes came easily out of the prepared cake pans. My first impression of the cake is it's rather spongy. So I've got the top side down for the bottom layer and my frosting is a nice thick frosting. It definitely lightened in color. We, I beat it for about three minutes or so and it whipped up to almost like double in size. So I've got a cake spatula. We're gonna go ahead and frost the cake together. Make sure your cake is completely cooled before you even attempt to frost your cake. And we're just gonna go ahead and we swirl it around. I love, this is my favorite cake plate. I inherited it 
from my mother-in-law, and I wish she was here with us today to try some of this one bowl chocolate cake. There we go, get a good spread, spread it around. You can see that the color of the frosting definitely lightened up and changed as we were whipping it. You gotta use that electric mixer. But you know what, if you didn't want to do this frosting recipe, you could certainly do any frosting that you're interested in. Add a caramel flavor, add a ganache, whatever you want. Heck, you don't even have to bake it into two eight inch pans. You could do a butt cake pan. All right, our top layer, I'm gonna flip it, add it on top. That looks beautiful. Look at how dark that cake is. I mean, this is the cake if you are a chocolate lover. I can't wait to taste it and see see if it's any good. Like I said, there's a lot of competition on the internet for uh, chocolate cakes. So we'll see, see how this one stacks up against them. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and finish frosting. And then let's go ahead and taste it when it's done. I can't wait. All right, I just finished frosting the cake. Here we have it. It looks beautiful, perfect for any occasion. This is your basic chocolate cake. And I've got my oldest son, who's gonna be our official Hi. taste tester today. Let's go ahead and give him the first slice. We're gonna cut it on, put it on a plate. All right. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful layers. Nice spongy chocolate cake. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Ready for a little bite? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. That's really good. All right, okay, mommy's gonna taste them as well, okay? So this is the one bowl chocolate cake from the January 2024 Southern Living Cake of the Month. That's good, it's very decadent. I'm not a huge fan of the frosting. I think you could use a different frosting, maybe a ganache or something, but the cake itself is really great. I like it, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'd bake it again. What do you think, buddy? Make it again? Mm. All right. Thanks for joining us. You can find links to all the cakes of the month below in the comments. I'll be back every single month in 2024 baking a different cake. We'll see if they turn out. We'll see if they're complete failures. I don't know. Subscribe and watch uh, more of my videos. And you can find me at SavvyMamaLifestyle.com. Thanks for joining. Bye.